For two and a half years, the Obama administration has prioritized our engagement with ASEAN and the region because we believe it is an important commitment uh, to peace, progress, and prosperity, not only in the Asia-Pacific region, but throughout the world. Asia uh, is not only an enormously important part of the world today, but as we look into the future, uh, it will become even more important. Uh, and so these meetings and these interactions are really uh, paving the way for the way in which we see uh, the future evolving. As an entrepreneur, you literally can help shape the future not only with your product or your service, but with your dream. The United States feels that our own history has been very successful, in part because we have supported entrepreneurialism and people who want to get ahead in life, people who want to start businesses, build businesses, create opportunities for themselves and their family. And one way of helping people to realize their dreams is giving them support for entrepreneurial activities, for starting businesses, for building businesses, for developing new technologies, for achieving their aspirations. And now the ASEAN wave of shaping hands. We look at the issue of democracy as um, an ongoing project. For example, uh, we are here in Indonesia right now, and Indonesia in the last 13 years uh, has uh, moved forward in developing its own democracy and in uh, engaging its, uh, itself and becoming an important leader in the region in promoting uh, democratic values and democratic principles. This is an exciting time. We are not meeting for the sake of meeting. Uh, we are meeting to build relationships, to explore potential, and to deliver results for both of our people. And today, I hope we will agree to a new plan of action, a five-year blueprint for taking the partnership between America and ASEAN to the next level.